Hello, hello everyone. Hope you are looking forward to a productive and blessed week ahead. Always remember, stay focused as most time things are not what they seem. People are deceiving and wicked. Always try to see things for what they are. So as usual, I was going through social media and see where Minister of Finance Nigel Clark was saying that, I quote, In July 2023, I tabled an order to eliminate GCT on the importation of horses, pigs, and other remnants, example goats and sheep. The opportunity cost to the GOG can be measured by reference to the total GCT collected on the importation of pigs, goats and horses in 2022, which was 6 million Jamaican dollars. The purpose of this measure was to insensitize the replenish of the breeding stock of the animals on the island. A local live animal sector cannot thrive without healthy stock and Jamaica as exhausted breeding stock are dangerously low and cannot sustain these sectors. The order was passed with the undivided support of the house." Unquote. And I started to think to myself, oh, what kind of people we really have we will put to run this country and to look out for us? To think the people we put in authority are some backwards thinkers in a man. Because check this, our sectors are running out of skilled and educated people to do the jobs. So much so that they want to import in people. But that is a different topic. As education is so expensive, important things like computer and tablets and other electronic learning device would have facilitated a better breeding stock of intelligent and educated and productive Jamaicans in the long run. That could potentially be even more beneficial for the country more than anything else because so many parents having their children going to school needs laptop and tablet which a lot of parents just cannot afford right now so taking off some of the taxes to bring them in and the gct would have made a world of a difference just last week a parent asked me if I can help her to get a laptop for her daughter as her daughter is doing SBAs and she hates when she have to go to people yard because they have laptops and computers worse because she's a girl child and further explain how she as a mother can't focus at work because of this because she uneasy about her going to people yard all because the need to get her SBAs done for her exams I told her I will see what I can do in short order so parents are out here having it hard and the government seems only to be making life easier for their friends in high places because we don't know say horses is not for poor people but to make it seems okay, they add goats and sheep for farmers. What they need to do is to put in tougher measures in place for prettier larcenary thieves and do robust ads and community meetings. The same kind of meetings them do when they want to get people votes. Educating our people how important farming is to the island and one potential predialacer thieves how detrimental it is going around thiefing people goats and other farm products as they are killing the rebreeding stock of farmers because when they thief the goats how the farmers are going to continue the breeding process all them do is mashing up the farmers livelihood and soon there will be no more to thief 
Now when they have to start importing goats, are they the same quality as Jamaican grass-fed sunlight bread goats? Will they taste the same as our original farmed goats in Jamaica? And we already know a lot of things from overseas are genetically modified. So we need more maybe ads or whatever educating potential criminals as what they are doing is equally detrimental to their own criminal business which very soon will not be viable another thing how about taking gct off the greatest stressor in jamaica jps light bill right now jps fly past mortgage rent food bill and all basic necessities because right now it seems like having light in your house is a luxury especially if you get it from jps as this straightforward would benefit everyone the rich and the poor stop doing things that seemingly only benefit the rich jps light affects every aspect of life in jamaica and would definitely be more beneficial to the people national water commission is another one this is another basic necessity for everyone that is soon cropping up to be a luxury because the bills is like somebody strike them with lightning and thunder and them taking off without wings further pushing middle class into poorer class god bless who is trying to rock in between middle class and poor class these are the things gct to come off of things that affects everyone not things you and your friends sit and seemingly had a drink about and and you promise him to do a thing for him apps new laws gct of things that only benefit a few it no look good jamaica people no fool again you know most of them can see past the bull i am just saying it in my own way as the people who get paid the big bucks definitely understand and they can use their politically correct terminology to make jamaica people understand even better because instead of waiting until everything fall apart then the only solution is importing things when there is so much things that we could do to ease off some of the costs of things will these goats that we are importing taste the same as our own goats because you know everything we eat overseas you know, trust me tastes different from yard jamaica so right then and there we're mashing up a culture as for the horses i think really and truly that is what they wanted to bring in for them friends but add other things in the bracket because horses is big business for a hotel to enhance entertaining tourists and for gambling race horses rich people business that we need to be hearing more benefits for poor people business as they're in the majority and are the ones feeling the blunt of everything so if the gct wave does not benefit the masses it only benefiting the elite in society that definitely no look good i'm asking my very knowledgeable commenters and viewers to give their opinions and views on this tell me if i am seeing it wrong and explain to me where is the benefit for us anything i leave out add it in the comment section anything you think i don't understand give me your opinion remember we don't have to agree on everything but everybody's opinion is valuable. The important thing is to be respectful. And remember, we learn from each other. And I am always willing to learn. 
because there is many of you commenters that I have learned a lot from and I thank you. Now over to our Prime Minister, Andrew Olness. He has finally been shaken up about the gruesome murders that are happening in our small island Jamaica and has vowed that he is not taking this lightly. The government is going for harsher penalties for citizens who shelter lawbreakers or fail to report on their illegal operations. The announcement was made by Prime Minister Andrew Olness in St. James on Thursday. We are going to make some changes to make misprison of felony a substantial provision in the laws that we have. Whether it is going to be in the offenses against the persons or the firearm act or the Antigone legislation, the legal drafts people will tell us how to do it, said Holness. He was speaking during a visit to the Chetwood Memorial Primary School in Montego Bay, St. James on Thursday afternoon. Two of the school students, seven-year-old Justin Perry and nine-year-old Naclovia Smith, along with a 26-year-old man, Tevin Hale, otherwise called Bansel, were shot and killed during Monday's grizzly gun attack in Salt Spring, St. James. The three diseased all reside in Salt Spring area. The police have theorized that Hales was a gunman's intended target. The Prime Minister argued that someone other than the perpetrator must have had prior knowledge of the intended attack, which resulted in the triple takeout. There is an ecosystem of crime which has to be tackled, unfortunately. In some ways, we are all part of the ecosystem of crime. And the truth is that someone must have known what was about to unfold, only stated. As I stand here and speak to you, someone knows where the criminal terrorist is and you are equally guilty for having this knowledge and not sharing it with the authorities, he further indicated. Now, Mr. Prime Minister, it took you a mighty long time. But I don't know if it's because the election is looming near or you finally realize what is going on or because the crime really has gotten so gripping and brawling and barefaced and these criminals partial no one by extension it could have even been your family member so no one in Jamaica is safe from crime reaching out and touching their lives. Imagine these youths were just in a taxi going home from school. It could have been the old lady going to church. It could have been the baby mother going to clinic to do her checkup. It absolutely could have been anyone. So I understand your stance and I hope you are not just barking without any teeth. And let's see how long you are going to wait before some of the things that you spoke about is implemented and a grip on crime is made anyway guys please remember to like comment and subscribe to my platform please love you all bye for now